hasn't anyone ever told you not to fall asleep with a lit cigarette, you could start a fire. So, are you gonna invite me in? Or what? I love giving rides to strange drifters. Hop in. <laughs> Thanks. Damn, you've been busy. It's nothing. Just some junk I found lying around. A rainbow towel? A cool blue light? That is dark. Too dark? Perfect dark. Chloe, this is incredible. I, I can't believe you found us an escape vehicle already. Like, for us to run away? Oh, I, I guess I wasn't thinking about it that way. Are you getting cold feet? I thought you were all bye-bye Arcadia Bay last night. I still am. I guess. You guess? It's not so easy. This truck doesn't even start, and we don't have any money. We can figure all of that out. I have no doubt. Besides, there's no rush. True. And no Blackwell. <sighs> Holy shit. <laughs> That Wells meeting. I'm so sorry. I can't believe he actually suspended you. Really? I'd say it's like the most believable thing that's ever happened to anyone in the history of forever. I'm just so pissed about the play. How could they let Victoria Chase jack your role? Because life is a tale told by an idiot, full of sound and fury, signifying nothing. Yeah. Totally. At least Wells has no idea what really went down with us last night. Shit got pretty wild. <sighs> last I checked, you're the one who went all puff the manic dragon on that tree last night. What were you thinking? I was angry. I didn't expect the whole stupid park to go whoosh. But come on, doesn't accomplice sound way cooler than accessory after the fact? <laughs> is that the official Arcadia Bay DA's opinion? Accomplice it is. <laughs> I'd be way happier going to jail than having to live at home with Dick Tater David. He announced his plans to move in this morning. Oh, Chloe, that's awful. I'm so sorry. You know what we both could use? <laughs> Therapy. Therapy. You start. Kick back and tell me what's bothering you. Well, Doc. There's this dildo with a mustache who's been dating my mom and now he thinks... He's moving in with us. How do I stop him? Hmm, that's a hard one. I'm not sure there's really anything you can do. Then what the hell am I talking to you for? Just because you can't stop him doesn't mean you don't fight back. The resistance begins now. All right. You're going to need a new nickname to mark your enemy. What have you got? He's a step fuck because he's a stupid fucking fuck. Poetic. May I also suggest step ladder? Why step ladder? Because he climbs on your mom every night. Ew! And pretty soon they'll be stepping down the aisle. What the hell kind of therapist are you? Sorry. It's called shock therapy. Highly controversial.
That was actually somewhat therapeutic. Thank you. It's always a pleasure delving into the mind of Chloe Price. And now it's your turn. Tell me all about what it's like being daughter of Arcadia Bay's most famous scumbag. It sucks. Too blunt? Sorry. I do that sometimes. Nah, I'm just... Ugh, I don't know. Can we talk about something else? Of course. I kind of fixed the truck a bit. That might mean I have life skills, something I've really tried to avoid. Upshot, I'm closer to becoming a car thief. That's pretty badass. Do you think there's a point when you've been acting so much that you don't even have your own personality anymore? You're just whatever you think other people want you to be. I think you have a personality. I wasn't talking about me. My dad doesn't really exist. You saw him in Wells' office. The whole thing is a performance. And now I'm starting to feel like Everything in my life is bullshit. But he's still my dad. How can I make sure I don't end up like him? You just need someone around who likes you for who you are and isn't afraid to call bullshit when needed. Let me know if you find any candidates for the job. Playtime. Gotta go clean out my dressing room for Victoria. Not exactly the role I thought I'd be playing tonight. Oh well. Hey. I, I was thinking that after the show, maybe we could go do something. Just you and me. Something criminal? Criminally fun. I'm in. Wait, you forgot your bag. It's for you. Just a little survival kit for your new life on the lamb. Drive safe, Chloe. Hello, Junk Shack. <laughs> Time to check out Rachel Amber's mystery bag. A bag full of clothes. Yes, I need those. <laughs> Nothing like an abandoned shack in the middle of a junkyard to make a girl feel like exploring a new wardrobe.
the woman we saw with Rachel's dad. Weird. Yo, Frank! It's Chloe. I don't know the secret password, man. Is the password... drugs? Christ, get your ass in here. It smells like piss in here. Shut up. You have a rough night or something? Every night's a rough night. I've got a notebook in the back somewhere. Go get it for me, would you? Who is that one? Ah! God. Jeez, man. Get my notebook, Price. Then we'll talk. Now I'm fetching things for Frank. How low can I go? Ugh. Gross. find out what Frank wants to discuss. Don't mind if I do. Don't even fucking think about it. Damn. Is this it? Have a seat. Pompadou, huh? That's one badass name. For a dog. It's French. Does it mean, like, tough guy or something? Do I look like I speak fucking French? Okay, so who was that woman? What woman? The one I saw coming out of your RV. Oh, yeah, I meant to introduce you. Her name is Mind Your Own Fucking Business. Rachel would want to know more. I bet I can convince Frank it's harmless to tell me. Dude, I'm just curious. What's the big deal? Idiot. I make money by being discreet. Frank, you know I hate everyone. Who do you think I'm gonna tell? Come on, Price, I gotta protect my clients. Happy customers are the foundation of a good business. As long as you're selling quality stuff, no one is going to care what you tell me. God, Price, don't you have enough dumb high school shit going on? Why get hung up on some chick? I'm not. Just hanging with a friend here. A friend I don't know much about. Tell me, Frank. Seeing any girls lately? 
Well, I guess you're not asking for life or death information here. If you don't tell me who she is, I'm just gonna assume you're dating. Or she's your boss. Or something else embarrassing. So, are you gonna tell me who that was? Christ, do you ever shut up? I'm not telling you anything, okay? Uh... You don't have to be rude about it. Two damn seconds of peace and quiet is all I want. <sighs> okay. Okay. I'm good now. You hear the mill burn down? <sighs> Shit. Really? Crazy. My friend Damon runs the place. He lost a lot of money last night. Money from what? Well, he's always had a few things going on. I help him out with some of them. Don't drown me in the details, Frank. Lately, he's been doing some stuff that I don't like. But I don't seem to have much leverage with him like I once had. Anyway, you and I have shit to discuss. I've got a little job for you. Open my notebook. Last page. Should be some entries for a kid named Drew. You know him? Drew North? Yeah, he's... Holy shit. That's a lot of money. Drew runs Oxy for Damon. Apparently football players eat it like candy. That's smart, I guess. It pays well? Go Bigfoots. Problem is, Drew owes a grant, and he's not answering my calls. You know what's going on with them? No. I never talked to him. Or his type. No one's just a type, Price. Anyway, here's the job. I'm taking you to Blackwell. Go to Drew's room, find the money, and I'll meet you to pick it up. Can you handle that? Yeah, of course. But what's in it for me? I'll give you a 10% cut of the money. Okay. Yeah, sure. I'll do it. What's the matter? It might be a little tough. I, I'm not supposed to be at Blackwell. I got suspended this morning. Congratulations. It's still easier for you to go on campus than for me. If you can't even do this price, a hundred dollars closer to leaving Arcadia Bay. With a bit of cash and the truck fixed, Rachel and I could really do it. We could leave for good. I'll do it. Good deal. be back this soon. Well, here goes nothing. Better hurry up and get into the dorms. Locked. <laughs> Figures. Looks like my options are become a master lock picker or swipe someone's keys. Hey. 
Hey, Steph. Whoa. Hey, Calamastia. Your shirt looks like the tea leaves they used to tell people's fortunes. How's my future looking? Bright and sunny. Surprised to see me on parole? I told you Wells was out to get you. That text was a rare courtesy, by the way. I don't normally get involved in other people's dumb decisions. Thanks for trying, but skipping yesterday was totally worth it. Skipping with Rachel Amber does have an appeal. Well, yeah. So what are you doing here? Uh, I figured I'd see the Tempest. For real? You? Yeah, I know. It's not really my thing. Uh, <laughs> kinda hoping it's a shit show. What the hell? I'm the stage manager. Oh, I think I knew that. My bad. You better mean it. Honestly, the show's really good. It's worth seeing. I'm sure it is. I am worried about Victoria coming in now and trying to hog every scene, but the cast overall is fantastic. You get to see a totally different side of everyone, especially the guys. Okay. I'm intrigued. Go on. Like, Hayden's so annoying, but when he puts on that crown, he's actually very princely. And Nathan is Caliban? <laughs> There's so much depth there. Right. Depth. Yeah, well, good luck with all of that. <laughs> Maybe I'll see you later. Oh, hey. I wanted to ask you something. Shoot. I've been planning to make a move on Rachel, but not if you two were together. Make a move? So, are you? Uh... I mean, that's Rachel's business. Or maybe yours and Rachel's business. But if you feel comfortable telling me... You think we're... together? It looks to me like you've got a thing for her, and maybe she has a thing for you. And I wouldn't want to get in the way. She's... single. You sure? That's what I said. I'll see you later, Steph. Have fun storming the castle. Now that I'm gone... Steph might be the coolest person left at Blackwell. Besides Rachel, obviously. I'll see you at the Tempest, right? Bingo. If only those keys were unsupervised. What's Samuel working on? Uh, the sprinklers? Evan's subject for the day. Better you than me, bird. If Samuel's working on the sprinklers, some damage here might get his attention. But Evan is right on, there. Shh. What are you doing here? Aren't you supposed to be at home thinking over your endless list of questionable decisions? Dude, why do you care about my questionable decisions? It offends me when intelligence is wasted. <laughs> Did Evan just call me intelligent? Damn straight. Wow. Evan looks... really ridiculous. Chloe? Uh-huh? I've learned something about myself recently. Something that I think you might understand. I've learned that if I'm passionate about something, 
it's probably the right thing to care about. For example, I've been trying to get the students and administration interested in forest fire prevention. That is kind of an odd topic to focus on. People are so eager to pass on responsibility to anyone else so that they can live comfortable, unworried, and ultimately meaningless lives. You see what happened? Evan, you're pretty stuck up. Did you know that? It's fine. The first sign of greatness is people disliking you. A anyway, you're not supposed to be here. You should leave. You shouldn't be on campus, Chloe. Uh... Hey! Shit. I wanted you to go the other way. Like, as far as possible, the other way. Time for a fresh start. Here we go. Uh. Gotcha. Oh, perfect. You're welcome. Awesome. Now I just have to wait for Samuel to turn on the... <laughs> that works. Sorry, Samuel. All right, time to find Drew's room. No time like the present. Skip, how's it going? Not that it isn't great to see you and all, but what are you doing here? Didn't you just get suspended? Relax. I'm just uh, visiting a friend. I, I can't... I, I really can't just let you go in. Look, it, it's cool. Samuel said it was okay. Did Wells? Oh, didn't think so. I'm going inside, dude. You're just gonna have to let this slide. I don't think I can. In fact, I think I have to ask you to state your official business or else vacate Blackwell property. I hate to do this to Skip, but I've got to get inside. Maybe if I make him really uncomfortable, he'll feel guilty and let me pass. What's my official business? Women's business, Skip. As in, my uterus? 
I need to use the restroom. Glad you asked. What? No. No, it's my job to ask, Chloe. That's not cool, Skip. You realize that, right? <sighs> Chloe, I just have this feeling like you're up to... S Wait. You talked me into letting you into the bathroom this morning, and then you tagged the entire friggin' place! What? No, I... I uh, <laughs> uh... Fuck it, I totally did that. Wells raked me over the coals for that! Ugh, time to go. Or what? What are you gonna do, Skip? Because unless you're prepared to drag me off this campus, I'm going inside. Chloe, enough. This is my job. Just go. You have never respected me. You and all your smug little classmates. I am so tired of being shit on by high schoolers. You know what? I'm done. I'm done with this stupid rent-a-cop job. <laughs> just, just do whatever the fuck you want, Chloe. Whoa, Skip. Matthews, I've gotten reports of an unknown vehicle in the parking lot. Uh, oh, 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 oh that, that's funny. Because I've, got, I've gotten reports about how your head is, is really far up your ass. What, what did you just say? Matthews. Um. Skip really lost it there. Alright, time to find Drew's room.